Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a psychic medium reading on Travis Barker and Sheena Mokler. Um, if you guys don't know who they are, they used to have a TV show called Meet the Barkers that was aired, I think, in 2003. Um, they haven't really been in the media lately. They, they're not together anymore. They broke up a long time ago. Um, but we're just going to be doing a reading. I, found this comp I find this couple very fascinating. They're not a couple anymore, like I said. But um, I just find this couple very fascinating. So we're going to go into the past lives because that's, uh, I want to talk about, you know, archetypes and powers and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you the picture I'm going to be using of them two together. They have not been together in a very... Hmm. I'm looking for the best picture, guys. Hmm. Okay, this is pictures I'm going to be using. So, as soon as I tune into their energy, I am seeing that Travis is on a multi-dimensional level, meaning that he knows that I'm going to be reading him and I really can't say all that much if you guys know what I mean. So I'm just gonna say, um, you know, a few things. I'm not gonna expose anything too crazy. So with Shayna, I wanna talk about their relationship, you know, start us off on a brighter note. I am seeing that they are very, very high level soulmates. Um, I do wanna say this, there was parts of, especially with the picture I just showed you, there was something very bad that had, um, almost possessed him. I'm not sure when that picture was taken, the one that I just showed you, but there was something very evil on him. Um, and we do say, see that a lot with, um, st you know, um, celebrities and stuff like that, that um, it just happens. And it's very unfortunate and it's very sad. And um, a lot of people like to say, oh, they sold their soul to the devil and stuff like that. Honestly, I believe it's just, you know, they get themselves put in a vulnerable point where um, something could latch on to them and it could be potentially very, very bad. Luckily, he is still alive to this day and um, I'm assuming he's thriving. I think he is. I, I think he went on tour a few months ago, but yeah, he definitely has issues with um, having very bad spirit attachments. Very bad. Um, so let's get on a lighter note. I don't really want to bring that into this channel. Let's talk about Shayna and their relationship. So, like I said, they are very high-level soulmates. I feel like a lot of issues between Shayna and Travis were because there would be something that would take over him. Um, and she only got the person that she knew half the time. And then on the other half, it was like he had this whole other personality, which really wasn't him. But I still feel like, honestly, that personality is probably still there. And um, this goes into very, like karmic karmic ties something that he did in in a very like an old past life i'm not even sure if he really came into you know into existence on a neutral level um if you guys know what i mean i'm gonna channel some energy here so when i look at shayna i'm seeing she has a lot of sorcerer energy um, she is kind of a, a sorcerer. I see that she has a crystal ball. She's very good at scrying. I'm not sure if she does this in this lifetime, but I am seeing in a past life she was um, a sorcerer, basically had all those powers. This is what I'm hearing in my head. I'm hearing that word. And um, yeah. So what I would see is that she had her, the person she loved, the soulmate, um, in Travis half the time, and on the other half of the time it would be somebody else. And, um, you know, people say the multiple personality. I'm not exactly sure that much about Travis. He's very private. But from what I could tell intuitively is that he did have two sides of him. But I just want to say that the other side of him, it wasn't him. Um, this is something very karmic that latched onto him that would take over him half the time. So 
I can see that that definitely caused a lot of like frustration in the relationship where sometimes she'd be like who like who are you like you're you're not you know like you have two different personalities I just want to say that it wasn't always him all the time it was something that had latched onto him um if that makes any sense so I feel like Sheena is very like she she like had her eyes on more of the glitz and glamour of Hollywood and she did really love him but I feel like she was very focused at the same time of um you know the paparazzi how do I say it in this language um of all the pizzazz of Hollywood and I feel like you know this is all she, this is what she really wanted she wanted to be seen she wanted to be heard and there's there's a very like there I feel like one of her guides is very old glamour old Hollywood that was working through her because like I said these both of these people are very high spiritual beings they're very highly advanced souls souls I can't speak today I don't know why um but I'm seeing that although they both of them do have this underworld kind of energy because they both do honestly Shayna and Travis um I feel like they have lives in underworlds and they've stayed in that energy for um, quite a few of their reincarnations together. Like I said, I feel like they've had a lot of reincarnations together. This is like, I, I almost would want to say this is a twin flame relationship, but just because of um, Travis and all the karma and, and everything, it's really hard to see, to pick on, pick up his energy, especially because it's not all the time him. So, like I said, they. this wasn't a karmic relationship. This was a very high-level soulmate. They really would have been good together forever. And I feel like, um, to this day, there's a part of Travis that is, like, very broken without Sheena. Kind of, he feels like he lost his best friend. Um, I feel like he feels this way often, but there's also a lot of resentment. Um, hold on, I want to see, I want to pick up what really happened here. Okay, so I was trying to channel that, but I channeled more of their past life energy. I feel like for some reason this is, this needs to be heard. This needs to be said. So they have been a team for reincarnations after reincarnations, but they have been a team in an underworld type of energy. And I don't want to say that Shayna is like negative or like from an underworld or whatever, but because there is, I feel like there is kind of some type of angelic guide that she does have that I'm feeling from her. But their their whole dynamic is like that Harley Quinn type of the Joker kind of dynamic. And they're very, energetically, they're very codependent on each other. Which, you know, they're not together now, but I'm seeing that that energy is still somewhat there. Even though, you know, you learn how to live without it, it's still there. Yeah. Um, there's just so much underworld energy between both of them and so much like <laughs> like these are the type of people you wouldn't see ever break up. And I feel like the reason that they did end up having to leave each other was because of, you know, coming into this physical existence, they would make each other way too powerful um for the earth's energy to even know how to you know withstand it like i said i always talk about um certain things i can't say certain things are the world this the, this world 2019 where we are now really cannot handle certain types of energies and forces um you know all in due all in due time or whatever it just right now the way that the world is it really couldn't handle um these levels of relationships and I know that that sounds confusing but when you are psychic or you know whatever and you meet your soulmate your twin flame your gifts get crazy like you learn telepathy you like in my experience at least you get very powerful and that power comes from your soul recognition within that other person that you learn how to um you learn how to like 
you just don't feel human anymore. Like you have that extra sense and it's because of that other person and the vibration of which the world is on right now. Um, it's not ready for those, for certain relationships to come into fruition. And I feel like that's a big part of why these two people are not together. Also because of um, Travis is kind of an open vessel, not an open vessel, but he has some type of contract in underworld. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't really want to say it. But he's not all there. It's not always his soul into fruition. There's other factors that are coming. But these are the type, two types of people that I don't really feel, you know, perhaps they are over each other or I, I just don't really feel it. I feel like their energy is still so strong together, like spiritually. They're such like a force that I don't think this bond could ever really be broken. And I kind of want to go into their kids, but I, I don't know. I feel a little weird, like, talking about people's kids on here. But it's it's pretty interesting. So I feel like Travis had a lot of um, esoteric knowledge that was really just channeled through him. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing there's a big snake. I'm not sure what the snake represents, but there was a lot of esoteric knowledge that was just channeled through him and it was kind of driving him crazy because the energy levels that he would have to um, transcribe into himself, it was kind of along the lines of Ma Manly Hall or Crowley, kind of that type of energy, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Whereas Shayna is more integrated into 3D reality you know, she, she more so sees herself as a physical being, whereas um, Travis, he still has that dark priest energy. He still needs the army. He, and I see how this has come into fruition into 2019. Um, I think he's a producer now. It's a perfect example of him, you know, he's not the one performing. He has them performing uh, for him and he's producing. So same type of energy. And I feel like there was a lot of energetic manipulation between the people that he was, um, that he was producing or working with. Yeah, because I did, I did see that. Yeah, that there was, yeah. Um, and that's still going on to this day. So with Shayna, I feel like she was more integrated into 3D reality, where she chose a different path that wasn't going to speak like, hey, like, I'm not going to, you know, be the, be your sidekick or the sideline not that she was like a sidekick or a sideline like you know i feel like there there was some type there there wasn't really any equality in this relationship it was more so he was always the leader and she would help him but there was also a lot of love here um in a very weird dark way <laughs> not weird but you know what i mean in in their own way um i don't quite understand it um but yeah, so I feel like her path was to really um, get to really grow her soul because I don't see that she was in that negative state state of mind that that he's in. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys, I just had a huge rush of energy go through my arm. Um, so I don't see that she was in that state of mind that he was in. Um, it's weird because I feel, I feel fine. Um, so she kind of chose to like, um, you know, grow her soul, which was what we were supposed to do here in, in Earth, you know, in 3D. And he's more along the lines of still having those old spiritual practices, still being so involved in his spirituality that he's not really... Um, you know, seeing things on the physical level. And I feel like she was kind of his um, doorway to, you know, physical reality, basically. I don't want to get into the particulars of their relationship. I could do a general and see what really happened here. Um, I want to get a good picture of them where it's not him, like, where it's the real him.
Yeah, just so obsessed with power. Power, he had a mission here, his mission, army, dark priest energy, just about power, leader, 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 I'm hearing. But there is a lot of love in his soul for her. He, I, I don't really think he's ever going to love anybody besides her. Um, forever, honestly. But his mission in this planet, like right now, is not about love, it's about power. But I don't, I don't see him getting into a committed emotional relationship again. Unless it's like, I just don't see he has it in him. There, I don't really see there's a heart in him, but if there was, it would only be for her. If you guys understand. It's weird. Shayna was, like I said, his bridge to reality. Shayna was the only thing that was closest to home to Travis. And I feel like for Shayna, she 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 has other options. Like she understands that okay, now I'm here. Like she was never as bad as as Travis. Um like I said, there's obviously a really there's a big um mental block between Travis. He's Oof. But I feel bad for her. That's a lot of energy to take in. There's a lot of negative energy, just bad vibes from him. That's on another level. Um, so like I said, Shana definitely has other options. Um, she can be with somebody, you know, on a heart level that he, he'll never really understand. And he'll never have it in him to open up to somebody like that. Um, but like I said, Travis is very loving. He has a big heart. I just don't think that he would, um, yeah, I just don't see it. I think it's only like, it was only possible once and it was only possible for her. Now that she's gone, I just, I really don't see it. I don't see it. And if it does happen, it's never going to be as intense as with her. So... Like I said, there was a lot of ego struggles in this relationship, and this goes back past lives, past lives, for him always having more power, always needing more power over her. Um, but his, his whole thing is, he's never going to change. This is who he is. I feel like he was incarnate, he was brought into fruition with this, and it's never going to change, whereas she has the potential to really upgrade her soul and upgrade her life and um but that's really a hard place to be in because i feel like there's a part of her that feels the same way about travis that is home to her um because when we have these soulmate you know twin flame relationships it's like the other person is home to us and um coming from that underworld vibe like to here it's gonna be hard to find somebody who gets her like that So I want to do a reading on their kids, just because I find them very interesting as well. And um, we see a lot in 2019, especially of indigos, star seeds, um, children being brought here. You know, my family, I have two of them, my cousins, and I, I don't really identify as any of those things. Um, I would only really identify as an elemental, you know, fairy realm, as I've told you guys before. Hi, Priestess. Um, let's talk about their kids. Okay, this is their daughter, Alabama. Okay, I'm seeing that she is... She's going to be just like her daddy. She is not an uh, earth being. She is um, an indigo. She's from a higher star system. I don't really I don't really know that much about star systems, but I am seeing that she is an indigo star seed. High, high, high star seed. Um, a lot of spiritual power. I don't see she's going to come into it until she's in her late teens, though. She's not really going to realize what she is. And I don't know what she's really going to do with it, to be honest with you. Um... 
But she's an older woman. She's... Oh, girl. She's gonna be just like her dad. Yeah, she's just she's gonna be just like her dad. Not in a bad way though. Um, she's gonna take like some of his qualities, most predominantly. I don't really see that she's like bad or anything. Um, but I am seeing that she she has a lot of underworld energy too. Um, but I don't I don't feel like she's gonna be bad. She has a lot of power. So um, this is her. I'm not gonna like go crazy into it. And I think they have a son together. Okay. So he is also an indigo child. Um, I see he his energy is a lot lighter. He's going to be a lot... His energy is going to be more um, evolved than all of theirs. Let me see what he's going to do, actually. Yeah, he he's here to raise the consciousness of this planet. Um, I feel like he's going to be, um, you know, like the golden child, kind of. His energy is a lot lighter. I'm sure the, the, the sister is good but I am seeing that there is some darker energies that she's brought from a past life um that has to do with power and um you know those higher energy those like those energies it's a very strong energy but I'm seeing some of the energies that are with her perhaps some of her guides are kind of negative and working from like that underworld type of um energy whereas he he's kind of all light I don't see anything negative on him there's nothing negative working with him um, he's going to really raise the vibration of this planet. Um, but both of them are indigos. Both of them are starseeds. Um, two different purposes. I feel like Alabama is very old soul, whereas he's kind of, um, I don't want to say newer, but he, he, he's just different. He has like this, he has a different attitude. Um, yeah, and like a lot of playful energy in him. Yeah, but I'm seeing they get a lot of their powers from their father. And I feel like a lot of the reason that they, Shayna and him, met was because both of them are very spiritual beings and they, they needed to bring these, these two kids. She has one more daughter. I guess we'll do a reading on her too. Um, but they're definitely getting most of their power from their father. They're both indigos, like I said. I'm like looking for a good picture, but geez, should not be this hard. Oh, okay. This is one picture of them. Um, I see she's a sweet girl, but there, there's not really any spiritual power here. Um, like, she might be, she might have some psychic abilities just because her mother is such a psychic. But I'm not seeing, she, she's not a star seed or anything. She's, um, let me get some clarification on that. Yeah, she, I feel like she has a lot of independence. That's what I'm hearing. She's very independent. Um, I feel like she's going to kind of advocate for herself. And um, yeah, she's going to have to learn. Yeah. There's a lot of independence here I'm seeing. Um, she's very like, into, like intellectually smart, but um, 
I'm not really seeing that she's that intuitively, like as intuitive as her mother per se. Yeah, seeing that she just has a lot of um, intelligence logically. She could be an earth sign. I'm seeing a lot of earth energy in her. Um, but very secure, very self-assured girl. I feel like sometimes she doubts herself, but overall it's very just secure, self-assured energy. Logical, doesn't really, you know, very grounded, stable. <clears throat> yeah so that concludes my reading this was super long i did not expect this to be this long um but please like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think all right guys bye